Uh, they lost their first game yesterday to Nelson and their second game. I wasn't here. Tell us about it. It was really good. Um, they all played really well. I don't remember what the score was. It was against Castle Guard, right? That's right. And they won. Yeah. It was really good. Yeah, that's Fast what paced, I heard. you know, everybody played really well. Yeah. This team is really good though. You got that right. The coaches, Eric Early's the head coach. Mm -hmm. And Casey Jones helps out. Yeah, and Corey Havers. And Murray is helping out. And uh, Lindsay McKinnon's been helping out too. Yes. We got about seven kids on the bench. We got two new players on this team in the middle of the year. That's right, Jordy. And oh, I don't even know what number he's at. I think he's five. No, no, he's no, not five. Five is David. Right. And David just learned how to skate. And okay, and what, what's the year. deal with him? Um, he's uh, just started skating and learning hockey in he's, the middle of this year. He's from somewhere. He's from Colombia, I believe. Right, and his family too. Yeah. They're the new, the Colombian family that moved here. And he seems to spend lots of time at the rink. Yeah, and you know what's really cool? Like, he is, his English is improving lots. Um, but obviously he doesn't speak it fluently, so to be on a team is such a good thing, right? Yeah, real good. And all these kids are really good support group of each other. Look at Justin Anderson. Okay, here's this number nine, Bateman for Nikos. Yeah. Oh. It's not the last we'll see of him today, he's really good. Yeah. Usually good for two or three goals. Okay, here's that's Amber Hartland. Yeah. And that's uh, Justin and Charlene. Uh, look Charlene. Like Charlene. They're not Charlene. Playing defense, it seems. Charlene. Charlene Lay. Ember's wearing number 14. Number nine is Allison. No, number eight is Allison. Oh, not, you know what? Nine is Jordy. That's right, sorry. They just both have blonde hair. Yeah, that's right. And yeah, Jordy started in the middle of the year and he really right. fits in good. Really good. His, that time, the night we did the Monday night group, yes, and we didn't know who that one tall player was. That's right, that was Jordy's dad. That was his dad, Jeremy. Yeah. It's good these people who you've never seen at the rink and then all of a sudden they're here. Absolutely. They get their kids in hockey. Yeah, or the kids join hockey, then the parents have to be involved, and then they get interested yeah. in it too. Because right? I believe, does Jordy homeschool? I believe so. Yeah. yeah, so it's good to get them in, smingling with people. Who's that Team Canada guy down there? Oh, it's Rickety from Shop Easy. He's got yeah. the flag on already. Big game today. Yeah, really big game. It's going to be great. His daughter Rowan's playing center. Yeah, she's number 10. She's one of our better players. Here goes Shandy. Hey, we got a penalty here. Nice play by Shandy up to Harley. And the cusp dumps it in. Rowan's first one back. Harley dumps it out. Harley's a big Calgary Flame fan. He always yeah. has the Flame shirts on. Yeah. He's got a Flame sticker on his helmet. Yeah. Think he's, he's brainwashed, really like in no, a bad you way, like your kids? No, I don't think so. He's a really good, big hockey fan. A couple weeks ago, there the Burners had a game and. 
when we were walking out, I walked by Harley and he told me, you better go back and get a neck guard on. So I think he's going to be, he'll be a good player, but he's going to be on our executive too. <laughs> I think so. There's Allison, number eight. She's real, her skating this year, when she showed up, like I was at the beginning of the year, I couldn't believe how much she's improved. Yeah. These girls are playing on uh, another. On a girls team combined, like Nelson, Caslow, and maybe somewhere else combined. And they've been to a few tournaments. Yeah. So that's Allison. Charlene, Emily's our goalie, yeah. early. Who did I miss? Did Going, Ember go? Charlene, Ember. No, I don't know if Ember went. The Shendi misses the net. Here's Julian ends. Okay, now tell my story of Julian. Which one? When it, during practice and, and Eric was making them skate the circles. So what the, say the point of that drill first. Hey, run it by me again. Go ahead. Sorry? Run it by me again. I've been around <laughs> Julian lots and he blows me away all the time. Well, I, as we're talking about Julian, the coach just yells at him. Julian, watch the play. <laughs> um, you had told me this story when you were helping Emily out here on the ice. And Eric had made was making the team skate the circles as a drill during practice. Oh. Yeah. So now tell us what you. Well, he was the last in. Uh, was it? They were going through all the circles, and uh, he just. I think what was happening, he was falling behind because he really. Was kind of more like he was just taking a walk on the beach or something. He was just strolling along and looking at the ice and. Uh, he seems... But I thought he was trying really hard to practice his whistling. Oh, that day, yeah. Because he can't whistle. That's right, too. Yeah, he was, he was uh, whistling, but actually it was just air coming out of his mouth. <laughs> and he was way behind. Good stop by Emily early. Emily's been having a good tournament. He's been having a good year. Yeah, Julian's a little less focused than Avery at hockey. But you know what? When, anyway, but I've seen Julian skate and play not, like, during games and stuff. Right. Just for fun. And he is so Avery's brother, that's for sure. Even now, I remember, yeah, just the improvement that these kids have had is unbelievable. Hey, I wonder if that Jordy has any homeschooling buddies who want to join hockey, too. Well, um... Hopefully there's a few more of them. You know what? All it ever takes is one person, then it becomes, you know, more of a topic of conversation. Plus, you know, as he keeps having a good time, it'll be that much better. This is Sage, yes. she's from up the lake, yeah. and she has a brother on the team named Bruce. Number 11, yeah. Sage is really, she's doing pretty, really good. She's our smallest she is, player. She's really feisty, I think. 